A golf car is a golf car is a golf car. We've heard it before. You've likely said it before, especially since each of the three major golf car companies has introduced all new models since 2004. Is there really any difference? Maybe it's easier just to buy the golf car you bought last time, right? But wait, if people just bought what they bought last time, we'd still be hitting persimmon woods and wearing metal spikes. Leasing or buying a golf car fleet is one of the major expenses you face, so doing things the old way won't cut it, not today. Now is the time to apply a little critical thinking to this process and ask yourself, what is it that really matters to you, to your course, to your customers? Is it comfort, dependability, ease of maintenance? Whatever the criteria, put it down in writing, and then let's put the three golf cars to the test. Your test. Will Yamaha win every challenge? It doesn't matter. It's not about us. It's about you. So come on. Let's do some testing. What is it about car barn guys? Always trying to park a car where there just isn't room. And some of your guests, oh brother, talk about Sunday drivers. They'll run into curbs, they'll run into trees, they'll even run into their buddy's car. If it's out there, they're gonna run into it. Doesn't it make sense to have a car that can take it from all sides? That might be important. That was fun. What, you think that's silly? I'll tell you what's silly. What's silly is the little tap dance that you have to do to get your feet comfortably situated when a golf car company hasn't properly thought out pedal placement and spacing. That's what's silly. Now, here's the opposite of silly. A design that understands the user's relationship with the golf car. You climb in and out what? A hundred times per round? A generous amount of room down here minimizes frustration and maximizes comfort. So unless your feet have eyes, you should choose the golf car with the brake and the accelerator intuitively arranged. So you're not looking for them when you should be looking where you're going. Size doesn't matter until it does. It's fairly apparent that players prefer different sized bags, even beasts like this one. Fortunately, one golf car company seems to get that. The same golf car company understands the game's necessary stuff and actually designs storage spaces like it was made for them. Because it was.
ergonomics, the technology concerned with the design, manufacture, and arrangement of... Uh, too wordy. Much better. Now let's not kid ourselves. Guests are not highly tolerant of discomfort beyond what the golf course naturally inflicts on them. So give them a comfortable place to ride. Seats that are actually sculpted to conform to human contours. A high density foam that holds its shape and a layer of give that is much appreciated when the round enters its fourth hour. Wonder if they're all like that. We can't forget the discomfort that comes in other forms, like the Sasquatch in shorts your starter sent to round out your foursome. He may be a nice guy, but if he's riding in your car, he needs room to respect boundaries. One car has the widest seat available that'll create some distance, and the contoured seat will keep him there. What is a dash, except a place to store your stuff and hold your drink? Well, shouldn't you prefer a dash that does those things brilliantly? Starting with the cup holders. See? Nowhere near the feet very important. Also important are well-positioned places for golf balls and tees. Also covered compartments for wallets, cell phones, and keys. And of course there's a catch-all for all the inevitable accumulations. That's not too much to ask. A golf car that was designed and built in a way that anticipated what you and your guests want. We think that's reasonable. We encourage you to go out and do your own testing. And then, may the best car win. <laughs>